What is up guys, my name is Daryl and today I'm gonna show you how you can embed Google Forms onto your WordPress website. Now if you're using a theme or your page builder and you just don't like the contact form or if your emails are going to spam and the hosting is blaming the theme and the theme is blaming the hosting, trust me, I have been there. In this video, I'm gonna show you how you can bypass that and have Google Forms onto your WordPress website. Now there's a few ways on how you can add the forms. So in this video, I'll show you both ways. Well, there's three ways, but uh, you're only gonna use two really. So this is an example of something that will look like on your WordPress website. So for example, if I click on this link right here, it'll take me directly to the Google Forms page, or you can actually embed the entire form onto your WordPress website. You can decorate it, you can customize it, and it looks pretty sharp. Or another way you can do it is just, again, adding a link. So here, for example, I have Contact Us. If I click on that, it'll take me directly to the Google Form. Now. This isn't just a contact form. So you might hear like a, a Google form, just like a contact. It does so much. It does like events, job applications, a booking system, events, so much more. So if you're having problems with any of those and you're using plugins and they're just not working out for you, uh, hang tight because I'm going to show you some of the, the templates they have and you might really want to switch over to Google forms. So let me just go ahead and quickly show you how this works. So uh, going over to Google really quick and you just type in Google forms. You can see I've entered it a few times. Now right here, I'm gonna go to Google Forms. And then right here, I'm gonna go to Google Forms. Now it's free, you would just need to have a Gmail account. So right here, I'm gonna go to go to Google Forms. Now there are tons of templates that you can use. So here we have a t-shirt sign up, a party invite, RSVP, uh, event registration. Uh, there's more right here. If I click on the little arrow and scroll down, we have work. We have all of these templates. You know, this is pretty helpful. Time off request. That is good. You know, it's probably not going to get approved, but uh, job application. So all the stuff right here you can have with Google Forms. Now I'm just going to add a contact form, just a basic one right here. And I'm going to show you how you can customize it and add it to your site. So right here we have a basic contact form and we have the name, the email, the address, the phone number. Now maybe I don't want address right here. You know, I don't think I need address. So I'm just going to go ahead and delete that one right quick. Here under the email, you can have a short answer or you can change it to like multiple choice, check boxes, a drop down, a file upload or anything that you'd like. And let's say you really need this information. Like I really need the phone number right here. So right here, I'm going to put it as required. Now, it's pretty simple to use the contact form right here. You can just click on plus add question. You can add your own question. You can add a title and description. You can add an image. Now, I don't know why you'd want to add an image to a contact form, but uh, I mean, people out there, they might want it, you know, you can add a video to your contact form and also add another section. So let's say for example, right here, I'm going to do add a question. And then here I'll do something like, um, I don't know, what could we hear? Uh, let's see how many, how many units or something, you know, I, I don't know, just, you know, something that you might need, how many units. And then I'm going to put this required. So right here I have how many units, phone number, email, etc. Now this can be any question. So it doesn't have to be like email or phone number, depending on what your business is, you can put anything that you want, obviously. So I'm just going to leave that. And uh, right here, maybe under comments, you might want to have that under like, uh, what is your question, you know, and maybe have that required as well. So here under this little customized theme, you can click on this now. And then right here, we can kind of customize it. Now you can have a theme color, so right here you can see I have like a theme color where you can kind of mix and match or you can add a header to it as well. So here uh, I'm going to select this right here and then this can, you know, add a header to it. Um, they have tons of templates or you can go to fiverr.com and you can probably get one designed from fiverr.com for like five bucks. So depending on your theme, you can add it. Now, if it's just not working out for you, if you don't like those images, you can just go ahead and just take those out right there and then just, you know, maybe just add like a theme color. So blue and then here you can add in, you know, your, 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 your background color. Now for the font style, they do have a very limited font style that is one downside to it, but uh, they'll all work, you know, and I'm sure if you contact Google Forms, they probably have like a, an extension or like a, like a plan where you can, you know, get more. Uh, but here I'll just do formal. All right, so I have my form. Now, if you want to preview it at any time, just click on this little eye icon and there you go. You can preview it right there. So let's go ahead now and add it. Now to add it, it's very simple. Wait, one more thing I wanna, I wanna note that under this gear icon, you can even have quizzes and presentations. Now, I'm not gonna go into that because that does sound like a lot, but you can kind of have like your own school or something. Like it's it's pretty crazy what you can do with Google. I mean, Google Google owns like the world. They really own the world. It's, it's pretty funny. So right here under send, we have this right here. So I'm gonna go ahead and send this to my email real quick. And then we'll check this a little bit later at the end of the video. 
All right, so let's just say you want to send your form to email. You can go ahead and do it right there. Also right here under send, we have this one right here. So the link. So you need to take this link and then simply go ahead and paste it onto wherever you want. So obviously I had mine sent under my contact us section right here. So here I will go ahead and click on edit enable visual builder. And if you want to know which theme I'm using, I'm using the Divi theme right here and I'm using the Ali Chow theme. So here I'll just put in the link. All right, pretty simple. And then over here, I'm gonna go ahead and escape that. We're gonna to go to send and I'm going to go to this right here and embed HTML. Now this is pretty important because I'm gonna show you how you can adjust the width and height without having to do it here every single time, which can be a total pain. So right here, I'm gonna go ahead and just delete all this. Now remember, this must be a text module and you must add it under the text, okay? Or if your theme has a code, like a, a, I guess module, you can add it under there as well. So right here, I'm gonna put it under the text and go to paste. Now let's be honest, it doesn't look good like that. You know, it looks, it looks like crap. So I'm gonna show you how you can fix that. So for the width right here, you can see there's width and then there's height. You see that? Width and height. So right here, I'm gonna set the width to maybe like something like 1300. All right, 1300. Now you can see it's spreading out a little bit more. And then under the height right here, I'm gonna change this to something like 900. All right, now you can see that this little bar right here is still showing. Now you can just keep increasing the height to get rid of that. So here I'll do something like 1200. And then, oops, I messed that up a little bit. Whoops, 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 whoa. All right, so there you go. So the bar is still there, but now all the questions remain. So if you wanna just go ahead and keep adding a little bit more, um, you can go ahead and do that. So right here I have 1200, but I think that's fine because now people can come to my website and they can see all of the questions right there. So right here, how many units, what is your question, etc. So everything is filled out correctly. So right there, I'm gonna click on save. And now let's go ahead and test it out. Let's see if this is actually working or not. So first we have this right here. Now, if I click on this, it's gonna take me directly to the contact form. So there you go, perfect. Now let's go ahead and go back over here and go to our, uh, our name. So I'm gonna put Daryl email and then here I hope that works and then 21 and then hey what's up so this is most of the work but we still need to do some other settings in just a bit so right here I'll go to submit and then there you go it has been submitted now let's go on over over here to our Google section right here and now you can see our um, our, our recent form is there now if I click on this right here you're gonna see we have responses. So it does have a response. Now, one thing that you need to do um, to make sure this goes to your inbox is right here, go to get email notifications for new response. So now it's gonna go directly to your current PC hoarder or to your, not PC hoarder, to your current email to let you know that people are actually answering this contact form. Because if you don't have that, um, it's just going to put it here, but you're not gonna get notifications going to your email. So let's go back over here. And right here, oh, contact information, cool. So this was actually sent because remember the beginning that I sent it directly to a contact form. So the first way you can do it is by just directly emailing it to people. And then right here, click on form and then there you go. But I've already responded obviously. So it's, it's just going to um, tell me I've responded or you can click on edit response and then you know change it right there. So there is a lot of uh, customization you can do with the Google Forms. Again, you might want to click on that again and set the email notification. That's a very important one that a lot of people miss because people are like, oh, it doesn't go to my content or my email. This sucks. And it's like, it does. You just have to look at the options, you know? So uh, check out the Google Forms. They have tons of other ones like find a time, RSVP, party time, t-shirts. Now, if you're having a plugin that's just having issues and you want something like this, a little bit more stable, um, I really recommend it because it's, a plugin can do this, but for simplicity's sake, this is a lot more easier. You know, let's just be honest. You know, we love plugins, we love developers, but this is much easier, you know? So I hope this helped. I hope by now you can go ahead and add Google Forms onto your WordPress website. Let me know in the comments what you think about this video. If you like it, if you've used it in the past, if it was a nightmare, if you think that it is a terrible form or if it's the best form ever, go ahead and let me know in the comments below. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure to like it and all that good stuff. All right, I will see you all in the next video. Oh, oh yeah, I'm going to Asia soon, but I'll be around. So don't, I'll still be making videos in Asia. All right. So I'll see you all soon.